Jared and I just left to head to a festival in San Bernardino. Erica's actually coming with me while well, she's driving separately, but we're working it together. So that'll be fun and exciting because a lot of the same crew won't be there. So it'll be nice to have Erica with me and it'll be a lot more fun having another cool chick around. opted to do the early shift which is like get there at six in the morning ish and then you get off by like five in the evening and the festival doors don't open until I think four maybe so basically we'd have all evening to enjoy the festival if we wanted um, the first night we're probably gonna go back and get rest so the next night we could just stay up as late as we wanted to um, but I love working the camp tents because you get all the festival goers that are like just waking up and it's a lot more chill and not as like crazy and intense um so i'll kind of show you guys around you can see all the like tents and where our booth is at and kind of the views that we got that guy spinning the little light thing his name was sage stone isn't that a cool name i don't know if he lied to me or not but i mean that could be his nickname but that is the coolest name ever sage stone so at candy's world we saw these diffraction glasses they have clear lenses and like normal glasses frames you put them on and basically anytime you look at light it creates more light rays and it's like all the colors on the light spectrum and they're really it's so cool um so when i left the camp booth i took a pair with me to watch um a couple dj sets or whatever with those glasses i saw sage stone down there spinning his lights and i was like that would look so cool if i went and sat in front of him and watched with my diffraction glasses and um so that's how i met him i was like sitting there watching him spin his lights and like we were chit chatting let him wear the glasses for a bit and then i took a video for him and showed him we got talking about how i live out of my car he wants to live out of a van but he's six nine <clears throat> so we were just talking about that and then he said he hadn't eaten all day so as soon as that set was over um i had him follow me and eric back to the candy's world tent um uh, we made him like wait to the side so nobody would know and like went back there and snuck him some sandwiches and they were so grateful they did the whole like peace love unity respect and like change over candy bracelets and he gave us these um stones that he made stage stone made stones anyway so i have this like these blue jewel bead stone things they gave us which was really nice um anyway so that was a cool guy that i met who does this cool thing with the lights but i'll show you in a clip in a bit what the diffraction glasses look like, like the difference without them and with them.
last night of the festival in San Bernardino. The next day, um, Eric drove my car and I rode in the back for six hours to Arizona and um, started getting ready for the Gold Rush Festival here. Eric booked this super cool Airbnb, like right on a lake with a jacuzzi and a pool. And it was like a mansion. I mean, there were a lot of us staying there. So it was like people on air mattresses and stuff still, but it was probably one of the coolest, if not the coolest place we've stayed so far. It was definitely much better than the Varsity Inn hotel that smelled like cigarettes and had moist carpet where we stayed in Ohio. <laughs> She wants to do this festival in North Carolina, but it was like... So at Gold Rush, we didn't have a camping uh, booth because there was no camping for that festival. So I couldn't do the early shift and had to work until like 3-ish in the morning. But that's fine, because then you get to sleep in a little bit too. But um, I didn't get to see as many DJs as probably when I went to Nocturnal. But um, I did get to see some. And then our wristbands, our working wristbands, always give us VIP access to like box seats or front row stuff, bottle service, I don't know. Um, and But at this festival, there was like an extra layer of VIP, I guess, because you usually, you can get all the way up to the front where the rails are, and then at this festival, we could get past the rails, and we were literally standing, like, next to the speakers of the stage, like, there was only a security guard back there with a flashlight, so it was like, I've never been that close to a stage in my life. <laughs> So once Gold Rush was over, we had like two days maybe to chill before flying to Washington to go to the Gorge and work beyond Wonderland. The Gorge was where I worked my very first festival and it is a beautiful venue. So I'm excited. I was excited to go back. Um, but it's so dusty there that I knew it was going to be rough. But it was like that at the last two I did, Nocturnal and... San Bernardino and Gold Rush in Arizona and now the Gorge. It was all just, ugh, that's why I sound like I sound. But <clears throat> anyway, we flew in to Seattle and we had like a two and a half hour drive to the Airbnb. So we didn't get to bed till like three o'clock. We had to help set up the next morning pretty early. But, um, and there was like an after party that night, which we forgot was even a thing. So we didn't really get much rest the first night. But it was fine. Um, day one of the festival, we worked the camp booth until like five o'clock. So we got the rest of the evening off to see DJs and do whatever we wanted. Um, and then we worked basically all the next day. Um, but we made a good bit of money at this show and it was a lot of fun and it's a beautiful venue. So here are some clips to show you. I just flew in last night from Washington back to Arizona. My car's out front and I have two weeks before I have to work again in Vegas. So 
For the next two weeks, I'm going to check some things off the bucket list. I'm going to go to Page, Arizona, um, where there's Horseshoe Bend and Antelope Canyon, and do some camping in the Prius out there. It's been a while since I've been able to really do what I've been doing, like done blah, 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 to do what I've been set out to do on this trip, where I'm camping all the time in my car. It's been nice like getting to stay in hotels and Airbnbs a lot, especially in hot places. But I'm really excited to like be by myself, be camping, be back to like doing what I was doing when I first started the trip. Um, I am going to miss everybody at Candy's World because I've been traveling with them for a little while now and it's like two weeks I won't get to see them. <clears throat> but. And then after EDC Vegas, I really don't even know of another festival for a couple months at least. So it's about to be back to my original journey of the car. So I'll have some videos of um, the next two weeks while I'm going around Arizona and getting to see Antelope Canyon. And there was some... I think it's called Havasu Falls or something like that. You have to have a permit to go there, so I don't know if I'll be able to make that one, but definitely Antelope Canyon and Horseshoe Bend and whatever else I find out there in this beautiful place. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for being patient. Thank you for keeping up. And I love you all, and I will talk to you in a week or so. Who's counting? 19. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no way. He kept going. Oh my god, he kept going. <laughs> One hand behind your back. Go. Diamond. Do the diamond. Matt, Matt can do it on three fingers. 27. Oh my god. Matt Moore. Yeah. The needle's right there. What do you mean, what?